Hi, welcome back to Preschool Storytime with the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Jaina, and today we're going to sing a song called Well Hello Everybody. Well hello everybody and how are you? How are you? hear what I hear? Story time, fairy! Hi! Is this for me? Thank you! It's a story time basket. Bye, story time fairy! Ooh, this basket looks like it might have something very snuggly inside of it. Look! A little teddy bear! Aww! I don't know about you, but I love snuggling with my teddy before bedtime. Oh, a snuggly little pillow. Oh, and what else? A quilt? Hmm. Do you suppose to not today's story time is about bedtime? Yes? Oh, okay. Well, snuggle up with your favorite stuffed animal and grab your favorite blankie or pillow. And let's have a cozy bedtime story time. Tonight's bedtime story is called, I Dare You Not to Yawn. Ooh. This story is written by Helene Boudreau and the pictures are by Serge Bloch. And we're reading this with permission from Candlewick Press. I Dare You Not to Yawn. Yawns are sneaky. They can creep up on you when you least expect them. There you are, minding your own business, building the tallest block power in the history of the universe, or dressing up the cat when suddenly your arms stretch up, your eyes squish tight, your mouth opens wide, and your tongue curls back. And a yawn pops out. Next thing you know, you're being sent upstairs to get your pajamas on. Pajamas lead to bedtime stories. Bedtime stories lead to sleepy time songs. And sleepy time songs lead to good night hugs and kisses. Before you know it, you're tucked into bed, snug as a bug, and wondering, how did I get here? 
So, if you're not ready to go to bed, follow these tips and do not yawn. If someone else yawns, like your baby brother or your big sister or the dog, ah, look away! Yawns are like colds, they spread. Stay away from huggable stuffed animals, soft cozy pajamas, and your favorite blankie because mm, 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 those can make you feel snuggly. Avoid bedtime stories about sleepy baby animals like tiger cubs arching their backs in one last stretch, their eyes squished tight and their tongues curled back. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Or you might start to feel stretchy too. Don't sing sleepy time songs about twinkling stars or baaing sheep, especially the counting kind. One sheep, two sheep. Ba, ba, ba. And whatever you do, don't think of droopy eyed baby orangutans holding their long arms out for a hug from their mamas. Their little mouths forming perfect O, oh, O, oh, O's. Oh. Uh oh! If you try all these things, but a yawn still creeps up and grabs a hold of you, quick, cover your mouth mm, to keep it from escaping. Because if your arms stretch up, mm, 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 and your eyes squish tight, rawr, 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 and your mouth opens wide, ba, 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 and your tongue curls back, oh, 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 and a yawn pops out, <gasps> then off to bed you'll go. See, I told you, yawns are sneaky. The end. This rhyme is called Five Colorful Quilts Galore. Will you help me count the quilts? One, two, three, four, Five. Now will you say the colors of the quilts with me? Purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink. Very good. Five colorful quilts with patches galore. One covered Cat. Then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four colorful quilts as pretty as can be. One covered. Squeak, 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 squeak. <gasps> Mouse. Then there were three. One. Two, three. Three colorful quilts with patches pink and blue. One covered. Woof, woof. <gasps> Dog. Then there were two. One, two. Two colorful quilts made just for fun. One covered, my teddy bear. Then there was one, one colorful quilt left out in the sun. That one covered my dolly. Then there were none, the end. Before I wish you all a very good night, I want to sing you a lullaby that I sing to my son every night. And he'll pick out three different animals and we'll put the animals into the song. It's a really silly and really sweet song that you can sing with your family at home. And feel free to put in um, mommy, daddy, sister, brother, auntie, whoever is tucking you into bed that night. You can put them into the song as well. 
It goes like this. It's called The Good Night Song. It's by Lori Berkner. And um, our first animal, I think, is going to be, well, you'll see. See if you can recognize what animal this is. Who hangs upside down from his tail and makes silly faces? A monkey, that's right. I'm a little monkey and my daddy loves me. I'm a little monkey and my mommy loves me. When they tuck me in to say good night, they say, woo woo, ha ha ha! Good night, good night, good night, good night. actually doesn't sleep at night, does it? It's an owl, and owls are usually awake at night, huh? But since it is daytime, we'll go ahead and sing goodnight to the owl, okay? Here we go. I'm a little owl and my daddy loves me. I'm a little owl and my mommy loves me. When they tuck me in to say goodnight, they say, ooh, ooh, goodnight. night to the piggy. I'm a little piggy and my daddy loves me. I'm a little piggy and my mommy loves me. When they tuck me in to say goodnight, they say stories with you today. We'll see you next time. Take care.